I'm back to London. I'm so excited. Oh, look at this color. It's so pretty. I feel amazing already. I see myself wearing this every day. But look at this weather. Let it rain every day. I don't mind. Today is all about cleaning and doing laundry and doing groceries and cooking and watching TV shows and filming. I just got back from the supermarket and also the market that is nearby so we're gonna do some grocery haul with you guys some mushrooms my favorite snack to be honest with cheese broccoli so my friend always makes fun of me how many eggs i buy but blueberries two packages of dried mango because this is my favorite thing in the world this cute one some cheese a cucumber bunch of apples and feta cheese and here are my very, very favorite things from the local market. Okay, this is nothing extraordinary. These are some bananas, a huge mango. This is the biggest. Okay, some more bananas. And here we have really exciting things. The cherries, blackberries, raspberries. I have this new pimple here and it hurts like, oh. Impossible. Impossible. Here's the second one. I'm gonna cry. Getting there. I'm so tired right now. It feels like I haven't been outside for a week. Today I'm meeting my friend. We want to go to the library, we want to drink coffee and we are going to a museum. Not sure which one, probably British History Museum. So I think it's gonna be a great day. At least I'm gonna be outside and walking and moving a bit. Usually Saturday is my day to run, but it was raining the whole day yesterday and I do want to run. I don't really like exercising in the morning because like when I wake up and you know, I. I still haven't had breakfast and I haven't had coffee and I'm like, mm, what, what am I even running for? I like exercising in the evening because even if you were not really productive that day, you still feel great because, you know, you accomplished something. But it's impossible to run in the evening because it gets dark at four. So when I'm coming back from work, one, I'm exhausted. Second, it's so dark, you can't see anything. That's one of the big things that I have to figure out how to exercise. And I need to make a plan. I have to figure out what I like, what I enjoy the most.
2023 has been really weird so far. January felt like a huge Monday. When I was growing up, I always had this feeling that January was the month that goes the fastest because there are so many celebrations and in Georgia we have two new years and there's also Christmas in January and everything and then it was my father's birthday and it was like you know really quick three four days and it was gone this January here I think since I moved abroad since I'm not witnessing so many celebrations in Georgia it feels like a normal month which feels even longer than every other month because it's right after the Christmas break and it's just longer and it feels like Monday and it's been a huge Monday I don't know if it makes sense it's Friday today to be honest finally I'm exhausted several things one going back to the wet lab after working with the computer for three years is really tough I thought that I could handle it because I've been in the lab before I know how it goes but it just consumes all my energy one it's like a physical work because you are always standing up you're always walking around and the labs in this place where I work are quite far away from each other so in order to go from one lab to another you need like at least two minutes how, what's the protocol how to go through all the steps even if someone gives you the exact protocol unless you do it once or twice or even three four times it's really difficult and tough to do it alone because it's quite difficult to trust yourself with all the steps and all the regions are really expensive so you don't want to waste it whatever and the thing with the mass pack is that for example western blotting you just learn it once twice maybe someone shows you and then you can do it alone but with these techniques that I've been doing here it's really complicated and you just do it several times probably in six months by the time I know everything and I can plan my experiments myself independently go to the lab do it on my own then it's time for me to leave okay I just missed the bus okay perfect perfect start of the day I don't know how this happens every day. How can I miss the bus every day? I can't really talk in the bus. I can usually talk in the metro, but not in the bus. I will continue once I get off. So I'll see you in an hour. completely forgot what I was talking about. I think I was talking about my work life. Yeah, it's been exhausting. So many things, really. A lot of fun things happen as well. London is amazing. We've done so many things. I've been to many museums and there was this Louis Vuitton pop-up and we also went to this rave party of, probably you know the podcast or the show it's called the diary of a ceo they hit like a huge milestone and there was a rave party my friends and i went there it was really nice really nice music the weekends are usually quite fun so i'm excited today is friday uh, i have a lot to do though i have to write and make sense of the data i have two months left in london which seems like a lot from the perspective of working <laughs> but it seems quite little if you look at the amount of weekends that I have there and the amount of things that I want to do next week I'm going to Cambridge so I'm so excited I will see my friends and I will see the group that I was in before like three years ago and there is like this chemiformatics meeting I, I can't wait it's next Wednesday Let's continue the previous conversation that I started nine hours ago. I don't even remember. Half past five. And look at the sky. It's been already a week that if I leave 
my office early enough that I can still see the bright sky, which is amazing. That means that in a week or two, probably it will be still bright around six. Birds are singing all the time. The spring is coming, but I also know that it won't be that easy. It's still the beginning of February. So probably we'll get some storms and some horrible weather, maybe a week or two, but whatever. Anyway, I'm happy. I just had a huge coffee and I'm going to the city center to see my friend. Wait, let me check the maps because I don't know where the train station is. I always take a bus. Actually, tomorrow is gonna be fun because we are definitely going to a museum or some kind of exhibition. Last year in January, I made a video about my New Year's resolutions and the aims that I had for the year. And this year I made another video reflecting on my resolutions and the points that I managed to accomplish and the new ones, new challenges and goals. But I think the most important thing in my New Year's resolutions that I'm, I already started working on is to make sustainable routines especially after covid and after everything sort of went back to normal or as normal as it can be my life became really hectic so this year i want to establish some routines for my mornings and for my evenings before i go to bed to make sure that every day there is something sustainable something easy to do or easy enough to do to make myself grounded and to have this idea or a feeling that I could I can still have things in my life that I can control the easiest thing that came to my mind was to start journaling I'm using this technique called seven question technique my friend made a video about it in Georgia so I rewatched it and started incorporating to really get into this habit because I don't know what to write about so the seven questions are actually helping me to at least write a few words every day it's really difficult to answer these questions when you have a bad day because for example two days ago I had a horrible day and on this question for example what are you grateful for you know it's always easy to be grateful when you have a good day and when you're happy but when you're angry and you had a horrible day and you cried and you had a breakdown and you don't really feel like you cried enough and then it's quite difficult to find stuff that you're grateful for so i think it will be a really good practice to we'll see we'll see how it goes so i've been doing this for only a few days another thing that i started incorporating in my life is headspace headspace is an app but i guess there are many many similar apps like balance that i've used before but i have this headspace subscription now and basically it gives you lots of options for meditation it let me check the train even in 2021 actually i had one goal about mindfulness and i wanted to start meditating that was two years ago but i couldn't really do it i think i gave up quite early in 2021 I decided oh no meditation is not for me and I can't really do it and I can't enjoy it whatever you know I didn't really try to incorporate it in my life I just tried it several times and I was like I'm the biggest overthinker I can't really do anything like this but I've had a very stressful couple of weeks so I thought maybe and I have this headspace so why don't I just give it a try so I'm not really pushing myself too hard I let my mind wander and I'm not really you know sitting in this meditating pose and pretending that I'm meditating no I'm just listening to a couple of small clips that they have so some of them are meditation some of them are podcasts some of them are mindful breathing for a minute which is quite easy to do and I found it really calming and usually when I wake up in the morning I just make myself some some tea and breakfast and if I have some tea, I just drink my tea and I listen to Headspace for 20 minutes. I just make sure that I wake up early enough that I could manage to have like a cup of tea in a calm way without stressing and actually listening to Headspace. And I found, I've been doing this for two weeks now and it's really refreshing and really calming. So I want to continue and I hope that nothing really interferes while I'm still 
trying to build this habit of doing this every morning because if something happens and then you stop doing it then it almost never existed and I want to keep doing this until I actually have this really firmly in my daily routine so in the morning I just do that and in the evening I do a little bit of journaling for 20 minutes to write up about my day and answer this seven questions or however I can manage so I've been busy with that incorporating into my daily routines yeah another thing that I discovered in this past few weeks thanks to my friend is this podcast amazing podcast called the diary of a ceo i've listened to several interviews um, about breaking and building habits about um, there was uh, one really interesting episode about dieting and about um, gut microbiome which i found super interesting and another one was about the mindset it's one of the latest interviews it was amazing i'm learning so much and every day that i'm listening in the bus i'm like i need to make notes because i'm gonna forget this so i'm just writing everything down so yeah this has been my last few weeks i will definitely keep you updated how it all goes and new things that i discover and learn i'm just gonna take my train now and enjoy my weekend probably the next video that I make will be in Cambridge. So yeah, stay tuned. Your comments, your wishes are always appreciated. So if you have any requests, please let me know either here or you can also text me on Instagram anytime, anything. Have a great week and see you next time. celebrating uh -huh. uh, Dea's upcoming birthday which is in two weeks so every day we're gonna celebrate birthday month yeah birthday, birthday month, month. Yes, yeah. happy birthday